Hello, I'm Richard Plush, and here we present Glasses Gan, eyewear personalization using synthetic appearance discovery and targeted subspace modeling. In this paper, we focus on the eyewear personalization problem. Given any input image, eyewear personalization allows a user to explore different styles with fine-tuned control over an expressive set of possible edits to the eyeglasses. In Glasses GAN, we set a new standard for eyewear personalization by developing a novel label-free learning technique for manipulations in the latent space of the Style GAN 2 generator. Furthermore, we improve the reliability of Glasses edits by developing a new method to encourage latent manipulations to remain in the eyeglasses subspace. The result is a robust Glasses personalization framework with an unprecedented flexibility of edits and excellent visual realism. Fundamental to the working of Glasses GAN is the technique of latent space editing. Latent space editing works by leveraging the relatively disentangled latent space of a pre-trained generator to make a specific change to an image. This occurs in three steps. Encode an image into the latent space. Apply a targeted manipulation to the latent embedding. And generate the new image from the modified embedding. Key to this process is the ability to understand the organization of the attribute subspace. Our experiments have suggested that the glasses subspace is a region in latent space near any given identity that contains a nearly limitless set of different eyeglasses images. Unable to learn the organization of the glasses subspace, prior work typically has low edit diversity, inconsistent edits, and entangled edits. Furthermore, identity change during editing is a common problem in prior work. Many of the limitations of prior work were due to their reliance on datasets with simple binary labels. Limited by the detail of the labels, these methods were typically constrained to basic edits that add or remove glasses. Glasses GAN, on the other hand, requires no labeled data because of our novel synthetic appearance discovery and targeted subspace modeling methods. First, the synthetic appearance discovery method samples the eyeglasses subspace of the style GAN2 late space. This occurs in three steps. First, we synthesize a variety of glasses templates. Second, we dynamically apply those templates to a large data set of facial images. Last of all, we invert our augmented images into the latent space of the style GAN2 generator. The result of this process is a sampling of the glasses subspace for each person in our data set. Next, our targeted subspace modeling procedure leverages this sampling. We begin by subtracting out identity from the latent samplings to leave behind the embedding scatter found near each identity centroid, which we call the glasses subspace. Now, we can easily compute a generalizable vector for adding and removing glasses by finding the average distance between the non-glasses embeddings and the glasses embeddings. Additionally, we apply principal component analysis to the samples in the glasses subspace to model the six orthogonal directions of greatest variation. These are our new edit vectors that can now edit and modify glasses on any image. While fixed edit vectors generally give good performance, we found that the style GAN2 latent space isn't perfectly uniform among different identities. Our experiments with methods from prior work found this to be a common problem. With respect to eyeglasses editing, this would typically manifest as the same edit leading to glasses that are missing or have inconsistent shape for different identities. Our experiments suggest that this happens anytime the cumulative effect of the edit vectors causes the embedding to leave the glasses subspace or never entered in the first place. Interestingly, we found the glasses subspace to be relatively uniform between identities, but to have substantial variation in the magnitude vector needed to move the identity into the subspace. Therefore, we developed a method to ensure our starting edit places us as close to the center as possible. We call it dynamic subspace initialization, 
and it works by dynamically adjusting the strength of the modification vector until the pixel area of the glasses frames reaches a consistent value for all captures. In our experiments, we found this to reduce the occurrence of disappearing glasses in the subsequent edits and to allow for more reliable chained edits. Finally, with our edit vectors applied, we utilize our blending algorithm to blend the eyeglasses region of the edited image with the remainder of the original image. As shown here, our method can add glasses to real facial images with very fine detail. Notice the shadowing under the glasses, the preservation of detail in the eyes, the movement of the hair around the glasses to accommodate the frames, and the reflection in the lenses. In this figure, we can see the exceptional localization of the edit to the eyeglasses region when compared to state-of-the-art methods in latent space editing. A unique contribution of glasses scan without a comparable method in prior literature is our ability to create edit diversity while still preserving the identity of the individual and the realism of the edit. Furthermore, we can sequentially chain edits together for even more diverse edit potential. We even find that GlassesScan pipeline is robust enough to work for out-of-domain faces without any modification. While GlassesScan's multi-style continuous edits give the method no direct competitors, we can still compare the baseline realism of a basic eyeglasses ad operation. Quantitatively, we see that GlassesScan's precise editing vectors and finely tuned blending module preserves identity, inception score, and pixel mean square error greater than previous state-of-the-art methods. Additionally, our method scored higher than the baseline methods when asked questions related to edit quality in our user study. In summary, GlassesScan sets a new benchmark for continuous multi-style editing. Our synthetic appearance discovery and targeted subspace modeling methods enable edit vector discovery label-free and our dynamic subspace initialization improves the reliability of eyeglasses edits in the latent space. Our code is publicly available, and we encourage you to give it a try with your own image. If you have any questions, please come to my poster and chat. Thank you for your attention.